Hello and welcome back to Battletech. Um, I'm enjoying the heck out of this game. We just got uh, two dragons for our group. Kind of let's let's uh, let's build up our morale again. I'm um, uh, a, a little tiny bit of it got spent on uh, on an event. So that event really cost me like 200 grand. <laughs> That's what we're looking at there. And I know that like um, missions are going to be paying out more uh you know in the future decker's tag has expired that's good you and darius are networking in a planet side bar while a celebration is going on on a wide screen over the bar pictures of a happy couple and the text royal wedding explain the toasts being offered at the table next to yours however you unexpectedly hear your own name yeah your noble family here is so much more respectable than house beard back home their rotten kid ruined everything even after they exiled them the family wasn't able to live it down. We're a laughing stock of the periphery. Um, let the past go, honestly. As the man from your home world continues his rant, you clench your fist for a long moment before you settle back into your chair. Darius, watching you, says, Florent uh, "Florentia, why don't you? Uh, why don't we find another watering hole, some place a little quieter for the story you need to tell." Later that night, as you finish your tale, the table is covered with empty glasses and the lights are low. Darius finally leans back and furrows his brow. I can't pretend to understand the pressures of the no nobility, that's for sure. And no matter no matter your regrets, you can't change the past, but you can make it a better place for the family that we uh, have up in orbit. He raises a glass and together you toast the future. I could have taken the high ro road for sure. Um would have been uh you know happier but i feel like you know my character or at least um you know the one that they they have available for me here there's not a lot of role play in this game but there's a little bit of wiggle room is uh you know if i'm a character that is willing to be exiled steal my family heirloom battle mech and uh you know make for make for the stars kind of thing then I have to be good with the consequences of that. And, um, you know, maybe I don't like my family and maybe it doesn't matter that uh, they're a laughing stock, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, I, I, that's the first little bit of like origin, um, you know, that we've gotten, that I've gotten, um, that I appreciate. It actually like ties closely, closely to my character's origins without feeling kind of ham-fisted um in the daily briefing darius brings up the barracks climate control system apparently it started cycling randomly between tolerable and the inside of a mech cockpit in a desert dr Murad just shrugs i can replace the fan controllers again but it may not be money well spent something else is going on in the unimproved power conduits but as the argo is very old and very complicated tracking it down has been difficult Complete re com manufacturing world, completely rebuild the system, distribute portable fans to those affected. Let's do that. God damn, Decker, why are you always in low spirits? <laughs> there is sees it to it that the mech warriors and crew members with irregular climate control get portable fans to alleviate the problem. Unfortunately, the portable fans don't make enough for, of a difference for everyone. Decker in particular becomes increasingly irritable as he finds it hard to sleep. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, we are going to have another financial report. I'm just going to go ahead and do normal morale. And we're again in a kind of a danger mode. That's what happens when you spend all your money. Um, but we can do some missions and we can do some maybe potentially more dangerous missions. Um, why don't I go ahead and take a 900,000 and we're just, this isn't going to like, I'd like to take million. Uh, like this this one here last mech standing seems like a good one But this mopping up this is a, a test bed to see how well our dragons perform Again, I'm gonna go for payment and one cherry pick I I, I think that that works really well for me So now um, what do we got? I'm just trying, trying to find out our Centurion is 50, the Griffin is 55, the Shadowhawk is 55. We want to swap out two mechs. Now, I've um, rigged one dragon to be long range and one to be short range. This is the short range. 
and this is the long range and it's not bad i don't love it um and i actually don't think it's an adequate replacement for our centurion personally speaking i think the centurion is going to be better overall it's two lrm 10s and an lrm 15 and the the dragon is two lrm 5s and a ppc like it's nice it's okay i don't like the ppc as much you know i should have just like put lrms on that thing i don't think i can yeah it's only got two missile slots this is another one of those mechs where um it's it's got an uncount it's kind of uncomfortable it's it's a little bit uncomfortable it's a little bit too uh hemmed in because uh, it's got everything but it doesn't have a lot of everything so i have to split the difference unfortunately so um i think we're gonna replace the hunchback and i don't like that because i just got it to a place i like but um you know a medium laser ah uh, the cockpit mod damn it damn it i should have taken the cockpit mod out all right well we're gonna put me in a dragon and um though the centurion is very light compared to you know the rest of the team now i'm gonna go ahead and take something else out now even this other griffin i think is more well equipped um long range but we're gonna try this we need to we need to figure things out um and you know we gotta sometimes there's a little bit of growing pains you know um the shadow hawk i think is good i honestly feel like maybe i should just put the uh hunchback there i don't know the hunchback isn't really in a great position right now because this is okay but it's not great we don't even have an ac 10 on that thing honestly the shadow hawk is still like comparable if not better two srm sixes and an srm four is better i think than uh you know what what is this medium laser ac2 ac5 it's just not a lot of firepower tbh we've got a striker and apparently shadowhawk is a scout no it's a medium dragon is a heavy centurion is a medium this is fine um i think i'm gonna have to refit those dragons again and possibly the hunchback again i'm i'm not exactly super happy with where they are right now and actually uh, this is maybe maybe this sucks to say but I actually don't know if I'm happy with the dragons <laughs> Like I know that every new mech I've gotten lately has been like eh, I don't know. I don't think I like it um Like I guess for me the hunchback uh, is a little bit reliant on auto cannons and though I do You know, it's nice shooting a, a 20. I don't think it's worth it. I think I'd rather have like three ac 10s if i could if i could manage that i think a three ac 10s would be like perfect um but that's really heavy and it can't hold it unfortunately um similarly with the dragons since they can't they don't specialize in anything it means they end up being quite mediocre in everything this is the last known position of the enemy lance commander advance and get eyes on them let's see how badly damaged they are Good hunting, Commander. Olivia are out. Um, since they are quite heavy, I mean, I don't know how fast they are. Let's see how fast they are. Sprinting, I mean, they, they're, they're not great. They're not super sprinty. Although they seem to be faster than the Shadowhawk. So maybe I'm wrong. Um, maybe it's just this dragon, since it's got all the short range stuff. But I was thinking maybe they could be bruisers. You know, um, like having um, like our, the short range one is actually pretty good. Having two medium lasers and two SRMs, that's not bad that for for a bruisey type uh, of, of uh, mech. That's that's not too bad at all. And I mean, like, you know, they being heavy mechs, they should have the uh, ability to take a punch quite well this is our short range shadow hawk i'm just gonna i'm moving them up oh are we we're actually in like combat mode now 
So we've got a 50 ton, a 40 ton, and a 60 ton. Scary. Let's uh, maybe look at that 50 ton first. That's an enforcer. Waiting for orders. And we actually can hit it, so let's go ahead and do so. Um, it's got an AC-10, so let's try and hit the ammo. Not bad. I mean, I, I didn't expect anything from that, so I'm happy with what we got. Got another um, heavy cicada. I'm I'm very surprised at the um, the reveal of these actually. So this is our long range dragon. We're not in a great. Oh, okay, okay. We can we can uh, continue making shots at that enforcer. I would like to do so. Not bad. Sensors damaged. So this is our short range dragon. Let's uh, I'm gonna start hitting that cicada since that's you know right in front of us Not bad not bad at all Oof So that thing's got an AC. I think that was an AC 10. AC 20 is actually quite rare. And I, honestly, if they've got a dragon, and they do have a dragon, it might be a good idea to kind of, uh, you know, figure out what they're doing and maybe match their spec. Okay, let's uh, let's get as close as we can to got it. this enforcer. I think we can take it out. Uh, I might be overestimating. Uh, we're unfortunately only hitting the left, uh, its left side. Um, I moved to its left side a bit too much there. That's unfortunate. So actually, I'm not going to waste a precision shot on this. I'm just going to hit it. Good to go. I will, however, waste a precision precision shot with the long range. There we go. I'm amazed that I broke nothing off with that. Amazing it missed with the PPC when it clearly hit. Kind of just want to take out that enforcer. So I'm just going to hit shoot it with, with the long range. I'm amazed that thing is holding up very well. Okay, let's uh, let's just finish it off. Um, we are just barely running into um, heat problems. We are in a desert, so I mean it's going to be a bit, you know, rougher. The thing is still standing. Incredible. That's a long range, but that's okay. We're we're. You know, we got some damage reduction from the uh, forest. Good to go. Actually, let's move more into the forest. That might be good. Um, our the enforcer there got some evasion, so it's and it's also taking damage reduction. So this is all seeming kind of like a waste, but it's just so close to death. I cannot believe it's holding up. That is incredible. Please die. There we go. And stay down. The cicada is punching my dragon. In the back. No less. Okay, uh, you are about to take the full brunt of a short range dragon, my friend. Um, except no, you're not. We should have, I should have put a large laser on this thing. I probably could have. Yeah, um, lasers in a desert really doesn't work too well. I'm actually going to take off all of my energy. Maybe I should just, oh, you know what? 
Let's, um, let me just, uh, turn those back on and then I'm going to punch it. Oh, I already moved. I already moved. Dummy, 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 dummy. Okay, whatever. I'll just shoot it with short range. It's not a lot of damage, but it's something. What's up, boss? Uh, this is our long range, so I'm going to back up a bit so I can, um, actually hit the cicada. I guess I could start shooting at the other dragon. Actually, it might be better. Yeah, it is better. Let's, uh, do a precision shot. Also, um, you know, aiming for uh, at a dragon tells me a little bit about what I can expect in terms of its weak points. We have an 18% chance of hitting the head. That's because of our tactician bonus. Um, worth doing if we had a machine gun, like, uh, that's where auto cannons might be a good idea, or a machine gun, or, um, you know, uh, actually short range missiles, but like, not with PPC and LRM5s. Actually, it's not bad. But let's uh, see where that ammo is. LRM ammo in the left torso. Let's go ahead and hit the left torso. Nice. We hit it pretty good. Like we're we're hitting hard, even though we're not hitting with a lot. Let's do a nice short range punch here. Blew off that arm. Solid connection on that one. It's funny, you know, like again, if I go here and it's a straight shot, uh, it's eighty percent. Okay, never mind. Uh huh. Uh huh. Almost knocked it over. More, huh? I. It's funny. I kind of like completely forgot that the uh, cicada was there. So this time I'm going to punch it. So I'm going to turn on my support lasers and then punch it. We're going to do 90 damage and then uh, another 40 with the support lasers. Love that awful, awful camera angle. I mean, that's actually not bad. That's the most dynamic, uh, a dynamic camera angle has been. Now, this is why I don't like PPCs over LRMs is that you, they have to be a straight shot. They can't arc. So we have to always take the straight shot if we can. But then it also overheats. So, you know, there's that as well. The shot. LRM 10 destroyed. Critical. And we knocked it over. Awesome. The missiles do uh, do some like really good stability damage. It's always a bummer when I manage to knock something over and then never get to take advantage of that. It happens a lot more than it should. <laughs> We could like shoot this thing in the back, but uh, honestly, it's like a lot of its damage is in the front. So I'm just gonna shoot the cicada because the cicada is pretty close to death here. Copy that. There we go. I'm feeling pretty comfortable. I mean, we didn't uh, fight anything too severe here. They're they're large tanks, a large mechs, but um, you know. We and there's not a lot of them, but I'm feeling pretty good. That's all the survivors destroyed. Commander, well done. Mission successful. You'll have to forgive me. It's an iced coffee kind of day, you know. We didn't complete our secret objective, whatever that is. Um, no one took any damage. I mean, we took some armor damage, but... Now, I mean, as much as having a third dragon would be nice, I guess. Um, I kind of like this Enforcer. It's only a 50 ton, but look at those lasers. Fire support and skirmisher. See, I, I think I'd rather have a, a mech that can roll with a bunch of one kind of weapon than another mech that rolls with a little bit of everything. Uh, a little bit of everything kind of sucks. I won't lie. But, I mean, I won't... I You know, it's, it's, it's still a really tanky mech. I don't know. I don't know. We got the dragon part anyway. And we got the cicada. 
the one time we didn't we, we didn't get any Jenner parts or locust parts. You know why? It's because we didn't fight a Jenner or a locust. But you know what would have been really funny is somehow they give us a locust part anyway. Like we there's just no locust on the part uh, 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 part on the field. I say I, I don't know, Commander. It's it's the funniest thing. But out of all those uh, cicada parts, you know, dragon parts, we only managed to drudge up this uh, this locust salvage. How is that possible? I don't know. It's, a, it's really strange. No, it's actually impossible. <laughs> how did you? How did we do that? Now I got the dragon part. I could genuinely buy two more dragon parts and then have another dragon on the field. But I think I'd rather have something else. Oh, this um, see like the quick draw. The quick draw looks so much nicer. It's got six lasers. I'd ra much rather roll with six lasers like look at that six medium lasers i don't even think i would change anything about this i would take off the the srm um and probably put some more armor on it because they always roll with low armor um i would love to get a quick draw there's two quick draw parts good to know keep it in mind um the stalker also seems really good we could uh, oh yeah the stalker well, I mean, it's an 85 ton mech. I mean, at 85 tons, if it's not amazing, then then what's the point, right? But this is like, th this is a, such a nice mech because you could, you could specialize in either lasers or long range rockets, you know? Like you can, you could fit this with four LRM 15s and then the stalker is a decent long range or you could put six medium lasers on this thing and then it it's like a really nice bruiser uh, no support. I always like to see some support. It sucks that there's no, none of that. Um, kind of want to buy some AC-10s. Let's kind of, let's, now that we've, I, I've had a bit of time, uh, like a mission to spend with the dragons, let's, let's have another look at them. When did we get a second Jenner? We absolutely do not want a second Jenner. I'm going to sell this. Um, we might uh, end up selling. I, I can't. I don't have the heart to sell my my centurions. They are very different beasts. I just noticed. This centurion here, three lasers, three large lasers. We could have maybe we could have put a, th a fourth one on there. I probably already tried doing that. Um, so we've got two dragons here. We could do, uh, maybe on the short range one, maybe we could do, um, AC-10s instead of the short range, uh, missiles. But SRM-6 is about as good as you can do. Um, I actually think that this is as good as we're going to get with this thing. Two SRM sixes and two medium lasers. I mean, that's that's pretty good. The only thing that I might change is like I, I could potentially swap a medium for a large. Uh, that would sacrifice some of our armor. How much though? Yeah, ugh, a lot actually, because this large laser is four tons larger than the medium lasers. Let's just keep it. I, I think actually I did a pretty okay job equipping these things, but um, I'm not happy with the PPC. Surprise, surprise. Um, what's the range on the on the AC-10? Minimum zero, optimal 300. And the long range are minimum 180, optimal 420. What's the max on the AC-10? 450. So, I mean, it's the same problem as the PPC, and that is that... Um, you have to shoot it straight on but i think i would prefer it to the ppc in general i don't know the nice thing about the ppc is that it does do some uh sensor damage it degrades the firing capability of their target i i like the ppc in theory i i say that like every time but the nice thing about the acs is heat 12 versus heat 35 so we could put two ac 10s on here 
I only have the one AC-10, so I'm gonna have to... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Um, hmm. 12 tons. And then we'd have to do ammo. Yeah, that's the problem with, um, ballistic weaponry. Is that... Uh, it's heavy. It's really heavy. Um... I might swap out... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take out some of the... I think the Shadowhawk still has the... No, it doesn't. It's the Vindicator that has the cockpit mod. We're gonna take out that cockpit mod. I know this thing is swapped out a few times. Nice. Um, we could still use the Hunchback. I personally think that it's not great. I don't, like, I like the ACs. I just don't love them. And I mean, this thing is not really heavy enough to take anything better than AC 2s or 5s. Like, I don't know. We could have an... I'll have one more quick look at this. I just want to see. Can we, like, put on, instead of this AC 2, an AC 5? We would be overweight by 2. Um... Yeah, I mean... Oh, we put the ammo on there? That's a mistake. Can we put an AC2 back on there? So then that would we would be three pounds overweight. So if we do max armor... Oh, yeah, that's rough. We can't do that. The, the auto cannons are just so expensive. Or, sorry, uh, so heavy. Long range power and performance. These weapons are commonly found. What if we did, like, an AC-10 and an AC-5? That's starting to make... Oh, well, no, it's not... That doesn't make any sense, because... I, I just value the armor way too much. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of thinking I might sell the Hunchback. Uh, I guess we can just do that. I like it. Um, I just don't think it's heavy enough to keep up um it's not a lot of money to get back from that but it's something i like the vindicator the vindicator is closer to what i like from a mech which is that it specializes in something anything it's a really good bruiser type um i would like to keep the vindicator even though it's not really relevant anymore same thing with the shadow hawk same thing with the centurions the griffin however I also like the Griffin. It's a decent long range, and I think it's actually still better in some ways and more relevant than the dragon that I made. Um, so I think that moving forward, this uh, here's our team comp. Um, I'd like to go two dragons and maybe the Shadow Hawk. And the Shadowhawk is, um, like, our, our close range. And I guess the Griffin. The Griffin keeps up with the Centurion. Sorry I'm spending so much time on this, but, like, I have to, I have to you know, take a moment and think about um, our actual, like, build, our team build. I think the one thing I wouldn't mind changing about this, and its armor is already down, so I can't actually change this much. So never mind. I was going to try and swap one of the LRM 5s for a 10. And actually, we could consider doing that, because the thing is, is that this thing is long range exclusively, right? So we, we could um, put an LRM 10 on here and then max out the armor. Th this thing can't take a punch, but it can absolutely sling hell but um I'm, I'm a bit too chicken to do that so i'm gonna i'm gonna revert our our changes and then so yeah um so we've got our short range which is this dragon and also our shadow hawk the shadow hawk is pretty good it's not as good as the dragon like heavy wise it's 1120 
um, whereas the Dragon is 20, 12, 45, but it is very comparable. And I honestly prefer it in terms of its being a, a special, like a specialized tank. Um, and then we've got our long range on the right side here. So at this point, we would like, I'd want to start selling anything that doesn't really match this. I'm not going to sell the Blackjack for um, like story purposes. Like it's our family heirloom mech i don't think it makes sense to sell that i don't think it would make sense for our main character to do that they stole it from our family it would make more sense and i mean there's no option to do this but it would make more sense to go back and deliver it back to our family it's like hey i don't need this anymore it served its purpose so you guys can have it and i even like gave it a fresh paint job um i do like the jenner uh but i don't like, at this point, I know it's kind of, like, out of character for me, but I wish we could have a team of more than four mechs. Look at all the storage. Can we sell these? We actually can. You can scrap parts. I didn't realize this. We can make up quite a lot of money by just selling parts. I have to wonder if um, it's as much money as like, if we like built the mech. Uh, I may have already accidentally scrapped the locust part. Hold on. Like the good locust part. Did I already do that? Shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, not Locust, Cicada. It was the Cicada. Sorry, I, I know I'm taking a little bit of time here, but um, there's some interesting things. Yeah, there's the Cicada. That's the 40-ton Cicada. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to scrap um, parts for commandos. I don't even think I'll come across enough commandos to finish those. Like, we're moving into kind of a new part of the campaign, and I don't see myself, like, finishing some of these. Might finish off some Blackjacks. We're probably still going to encounter some Blackjacks. I'd still like to keep the rest of these um definitely okay so we have one quick draw part when did we get that did we just get that i do like the quick draw there's two quick draw oh okay different model of quick draw that sucks uh that is unfortunate um we could build another dragon. I, I think we're good for now. I I, I want to just make some money and do some missions and just like kind of have some fun um, rather than trying to like figure out uh, our, our best like build and um, continue kind of like puzzling out some of the game. Hmm. We get two cherry picks. I'm wondering if it would be worth doing whole we could do five of 23. What is this? Oh, it's an escort. Oh no, please. Oh, I hate it. Convoy, no, wait. Witness protection. Oh, it's a convoy. We get a lot of salvage, but it's a convoy. Oh no. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm going to do it. Oh, I forgot to put the cockpits in the dragons. Oh, actually, um, I guess if I was going to put the cockpit mods in anything, I would probably, well, yeah, it would be the short range, short range mechs. What a, what an amazing game. I'm like, I've had this game for actual years. I think I got it from a humble choice or some kind of humble humble bundle and it just ended up in my backlog um honestly you know like i i owe a lot to brian for tweeting incessantly about this game because it's become like my favorite tactics game at this point i uh, for real like uh i didn't really get into xcom i've bounced off a lot of tactics games i y'all know or maybe you don't know my favorite turn-based tactics game of all time is basically Druidstone. Move to intercept them and provide support. Um, 
Ready for action. And I mean, there's a full playthrough of that game on my channel. That that tells you how much I enjoy that game. I barely ever finish anything, and I think it's really it's really difficult for me to finish, especially like a, a tactics RPG like this one. Um, uh, like especially with sandbox stuff because you know even no matter how good something is if you do the same thing over and over again it's gonna feel a little bit repetitive and it's gonna you're gonna maybe bounce off of it um, I love doing a series on this kind of game because there is some em emergent storytelling um, there's some fun uh, moments uh, and it's it's really good to like it, it you know it gives me like an obligation to keep coming back and I mean, that's one of the reasons I even like to, you know, do this channel in some ways, because it's like, yeah, it's an extra reason to continue playing a game that I, I might have, like, stopped caring about. Maybe that's telling of my personality somewhat, but I, you know, I just have a lot of, I do have fun with these games and like, I want a reason to continue playing them and if the reason is that it's providing someone else with entertainment i mean that's good enough Waiting on you, Commander. so let's see maybe um maybe i did the la did the mission wrong last time Orders. uh let's see we got a 25 25 25 20 35 oh god these guys are in uh Damn. in for a world of hurt honestly I'm just gonna sprint forward. I want to sprint and pass our convoy so that, you know, like I'm the first thing the enemy sees and not the convoy. Apparently the convoy did not get the hint. They've just, they've elected to push past. Last time I couldn't get them to move. This time they're gonna absolutely sprint past the very big tanky mechs. Okay, let's uh, let's move forward, build up that evasion. The biggest thing on the field right now is that 35. This is the Shadow Hawk, so it's a little bit um, squishier than the dragons, not by much though. That is a Panther. Do a precision shot on this. Why not? What do we got? PPC and an SRM. Uh, where is the PPC? I guess it is on the right arm which I can't aim at right now. So let's just go ahead and hit that torso. Nice, good shots. Oh, I guess I was, wow, okay. I guess I was completely wrong about never seeing a commando again. On my way. Let's just target, um, continue targeting that panther. Sink destroyed. Pilot injured. Stop shooting the car. It's a. It is kind of nice that the cars have a little bit of extra armor. But oh my god. <laughs> okay, buddy boy, you are absolutely going to regret the actions that you have previously taken in life, including coming to this planet and uh, shooting my cars. Nice. This is a perfect uh, sort of zone. Well, okay, PPC, we're going to want to hit something closer. Um, or at least it has a short range, uh, you know, a straight shot. I'm amazed that thing has withstood so much. Me. Sephiroth, Lapis, Lazuli. Wait, what? The cars have guns? Oh, what? I'm like, I totally blanked there for a moment. The, the, the cars have guns. I completely forgot that they can do that. Crabs got legs? Sorry, sorry. Clams got legs? 
That's a reference that literally no one maybe on this earth would get. <laughs> I don't care. I'm amused. Um, all right, let's, uh, we're gonna turn her back to that commando on our, uh, you know, behind us, but I I'm gonna kill that thing, don't worry. <clears throat> Just gonna go ahead and, oh, yeah, destroy that panther. We can salvage that. Wait a minute, I, I elected for parts in this. I just realized I elected for parts and I'm going to be getting nothing but commando parts. Ugh. And I don't even want the panther. I don't even want the panther though. Lapis. Lazuli. Um, we're gonna move back a little bit. So we're in, uh, our ideal zone here. Let's see how you like this. Destroyed. Oh, it's actually not destroyed. Target. It is knocked over though. I'm gonna crunch it with the uh, dragon. I just wanna. I honestly just wanna step on it. Engaging crunch. <laughs> Puny commando, go crunch when I step on it. They really are going for it. They're hitting them convoy. Kind of just want to punch the last commando here. I want to punch it. <laughs> oh, okay. You guys are hitting the long range, huh? Okay. Yes, commander. Ah, I can't reach it with the short range. Um. Roger. Nice. Solid connection on that one. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna punch it. It's a centurion, so it's not gonna do as much damage, but it's still gonna punch it. There we go. Waiting for orders. <laughs> Jojo meme beating it up. Wee. I do have to wonder how this game plays in real life because like you have a, a full range of uh, of like turning when you when you pick your your landing spot so I'm curious like how that plays out in the actual game like are you able to turn with like a full range like this and if so uh, how do you calculate like what you're hitting when you uh, like take shots I actually wouldn't mind playing some Battletech in real life just to see how it how it plays. But I'm, I mean, like, I don't need a really super expensive hobby, and like Battletech is something you can you can pour a lot of money into. I do know that there are like good like soft buying points. Like you can uh, you can get just like a Battletech board game, and it just comes with a, enough to play with, and you don't have to like build a team or anything like that. Um, you don't even have to like get it, you know, read the lore if you don't want to. I suppose you don't ever have to do that. But, um, you know, still, I don't know. Um, I like, I guess I like mechs in this context. I don't know if I like them in like a board game context, but I guess I've never tried it. So I should, I should give it a go. I've, uh, I've had like a kind of lifelong aversion to like tabletop war gaming specifically. Uh, I'm a huge board game fan. I love board games um, Like mechanics in general. I'm, I'm a huge fan of but like Wargaming for some reason has never appealed to me I think it's because partially the culture of it and I'm not talking about the culture of the people who play um, Tabletop wargaming. I think that that is that's fine I've never really encountered too much toxicity in that regard but it's actually just like mostly the monetization and i guess i am mostly just referring to warhammer i've often found I, i've just always found that the idea of throwing down like 40 dollars for like one little unit to be kind of outrageous um you know i i i i, I like a hobby as much as the next person but 
it's it's always struck me to be a little bit of abuse of an abusive market uh, maybe i'm out of line for saying that but it's it's how i feel um so we've got a 30 ton and a 35 wow you really you guys really are just like throwing the weakest crap at me huh the one time i'm taking like full parts and you guys are throwing jenners and spiders at me good lord I mean, I guess it's still going to be a, a nice payday because I'll probably end up building a mech and sell it. It only has one medium laser. Yo, I feel bad for this guy. It's only got one medium laser. So many. <sighs> yeah, and I know, like, I, I actually think that um, I, I do understand that the tabletop wargaming scene has changed as of late because uh, it's an interesting thing. Actually, I, I've, I've, I, I'm kind of infinitely amused by it. Um, but the um the rise of the 3d printer has <laughs> has really changed the the field the playing field is the oh evac zone okay let's just kill what's on the field because like it's really funny to me but like i i don't think i'm wrong in saying that i think that you know a, a unit for warhammer can be like really stupidly expensive for basically no reason um, and I think that uh, other people feel the same way. Uh, so, like, the fact that the 3D printer, and even, like, really decent 3D printers, like, um, resin printers, um, for specifically for making miniatures has become, like, very accessible, uh, means that there is now, like, a kind of a semi-black market of, uh, or, like, underground of people, like, building or uh, uh you know copying models for war hammer and other uh, i mean i i don't know how much this you know is happening in the battle tech community um but like yeah you know you can now instead of buying official models you can just basically get uh an stl file and print it yourself for like a fraction of the cost i I'm kind of interested in this discussion because, I mean, it bleeds into, um, like, a little bit into, like, piracy. And I know people get really heated about this because it's like, well, you should support the developers. And it's like, I mean, yeah, maybe, sure. Um, you're allowed to take that stance and I'm allowed to not, you know? <laughs> like, I, I... I think, yeah, sure, support the devs or support the, the thing that makes the thing you like. But also, at a certain point, it's worth mentioning that, like, I only have so much money and I can only buy so many, like, sp spend it on so many expensive hobbies. And if, it, if I have to choose between, like, you know, being able to enjoy the thing and actually afford it, and just not enjoying the thing what would you what would you prefer i do you know um like that's sort of where i i'm a little i i'm i'm like on a morality basis i think it's kind of interesting but also i just think it's hilarious that like this is happening in some ways and it's uh it's interesting i know that um I'm not sure the company that makes Warhammer. I think it's. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name. I don't think it's just Warhammer. I don't think that's the name of the company, Wargaming or something like that. I'm not sure. But like they've uh, they've made like a hard stance against 3D printing units. I mean it makes sense. I'm not gonna dog on them for doing that. But I do think that the it's it is funny that the best they can do against like some of this like you could debatably say uh, model piracy is say well your 3D printed units aren't going to be tournament legal. Sorry, let me do this correctly. 
tournament legal which is just like the softest thing i can possibly imagine like oh no oh no i, I can't compete in your in your you know tournament with my resin printed models shucks it's a good thing i don't want to uh enjoy the hobby in a competitive sense and in, in fact just want to enjoy it in a uh you know hobby sense and and just kind of passively i know i'm taking a long time to finish this mission and i'm, I'm enjoying like just like this i, I won't call it a discussion because i'm talking to myself here but i i enjoy this topic I think that, and it's, you know, some companies are leaning into this a little bit. I know that there's new companies springing up that are like, hey, do you want to play a game that is actually accessible and we support 3D printing and we'll sell you the STL files for a really reasonable price so you can print your own models and then actually play the game in a hobby sense and not in a competitive sense and not have to like shell out like hundreds of dollars for to, to, to get like a playable team it's uh yeah i mean we've got you we, we've got your back honestly so uh let's go ahead and build the panther this sucks by the way i don't i i, I know i haven't like mentioned this at all but like this sucks <laughs> i hate this what we should do um if i'm gonna get anything are there there's seriously like not even i i wouldn't even i don't even care about these guns that's incredible um I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll take uh, enough parts to build two mechs and sell them both. 23 parts. Did I just get, like, everything? I think I just got, like, every single part in that field. Uh, oh, God. That's really brutal. I got 100,000. Luckily, we didn't take any damage, so... You know, like, uh... We're good in that regard, and I mean, I will sell these and potentially make some of the money from the mission, but uh, given a choice on the matter, I think I would have preferred a better payday. Does this have anything? We don't even care about those parts. 224,000, that's like nothing. Did we get... We only built the one? We didn't even build the other commando? Oh my god. Well, I'm going to sell these commando parts. I'm going to sell that spider part. I don't want a spider part. I'm going to sell this panther part. I'm going to sell this Jenner part. I mean, uh, you know, we made some money back. I kind of want to sell these blackjack parts. I, I, I know I could have probably saved those and, you know, built a, built a blackjack. We can sell components as well. I don't really want to do this because um, I think that there's almost always room to, to keep something. Like, you, if you don't have enough room for an AC-5, it's good to keep an AC-2. I don't think that there's any gun that is, like, completely irrelevant, you know, ever. Um, we'll have a quick look at the store. We have enough money. I could throw down on something interesting. I really do... Wait. Oh, right. Again, this is a different model. God damn it. <laughs> god damn it why do you gotta tease me with this quick draw with two parts that i can't i can't buy i mean i can buy it but then i am just stuck to, with two parts that i can't really do much with i suppose that, you know what um question me on this if you want i'm gonna buy these parts and um we could potentially make use of the black market and see if they've got the last part at an inflated price I'm not going to do that now, but I will do that in the future. So that convoy mission wasn't super bad. It was kind of boring, but uh, everything here right now is desert. We could do trap sprung. That's a not a terrible payday. I think I'd prefer to do last max standing. Oh, it's in the desert again. God damn it. We're getting a number of reports from agents on the ground of a powerful mech sporting director colors. A single mech operating on its own, but out in the middle of nowhere. Sounds like a trap. 
kind of want to do this. I think I'd like to try this, and um, what I'll do is I'll do no, no, no one got damaged, right? I don't have to repair anything. No, we don't have to repair anything. What we do have to do, however, is put the. Oh shoot! If I I can't put a I can't put the cockpit mod on this thing. Oh, that sucks. If I take the cockpit, I put the cockpit mod on this, then it can't, it can't have that SRM4. How heavy is that? Two tons? We can't put a large laser on it. I was thinking we could, you know, well, I mean, we could, I suppose. I don't, the SRM4, I don't think is really comparable, or, or I don't think a medium laser is comparable with a SRM4. Let's see, 25 damage versus... 8 times 4, which is... my math is bad. 32? That's if we hit with everything, and I mean, I, I'm i not ignorant to the fact that we can miss with some of the rockets, but the thing about the rockets is that they always hit some of them, right? So you're always doing some damage. If you miss with the medium laser, then you just miss. You don't get any damage. And the, the thing about the SRMs is they're also doing stability damage, and that's nice too. Can't do it. Not gonna do it. Can't do it. Not gonna do it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and... I guess I'll put the cockpit mod on this dragon, which is a short range, which is nice. It's, it's something. Um, we have a heat sink. Oh, that's a heat sink. I was thinking, um, that was the heat bank. I do want some better heat sinks. And I guess... I mean, this dragon is shorter range? I am starting to question having LRMs with the PPC. TBH. Um, but we only have enough room for... Hmm. Let's see, the LRM5 is 2 tons. I know I'm, like, again... Can, thinking about this but 12 tons so if we got bo rid of both lrm fives it wouldn't even get close to having enough room for an ac 10 but we could potentially do an LR ac 5 or an ac 2 the ac 5 is just straight up better than two ac 2s because it's eight tons whereas the ac 2s are six tons so having two of those is heavier than having an ac 5 and Conversely, having two AC-5s is not as good as having an AC-10. But then you get into like 12 tons, right? <sighs> no matter how many times I come back to this, it still doesn't feel good. I feel like what I should do I think that the short range missiles make more sense with the dragon than long range I think that this makes more sense it's just immediately better in a lot of ways um like, look how much lighter this is already. So we could, like, you know, put a bunch of heat sinks on there. We're going to put the cockpit mod on there now. Um, we'll put a bunch of heat sinks in the legs. And, I mean, look at this. It's not, not bad. Uh, we could sacrifice a... Well, it's all the armor is already sacrificed. So let's put the armor back on there. This is starting to feel pretty good. And we have some room. We could actually put jump jets on this thing. And I, I think they even said that this thing is made to take jump jets. This is feeling better. I feel like the dragon is more of a close range bruiser than it is a long range unit. I think I'd rather... Um, we'll take the dragons. They become our new close range units. We shelf the shadow hawk for now. And then we put back our long-range centurion on the field and um 
then we have decent long range uh i think the griffin with its current setup is actually pretty good um i suppose what we should do is take the srm6 plus off of here um i might end up selling the shadow hawk we want to consolidate some of our better weaponry onto our new stuff like we'll take this i am going to take the medium laser plus even if uh, in my head cannon um we you know end up giving that back i wouldn't give it back with a uh with a medium laser plus okay we're just gonna wait for that work to go through I just got another achievement 50 50 mechs refitted okay now we go back this dragon is what's wrong with the dragon it doesn't have ammo oh i'm an idiot okay we'll take off two heat sinks and we'll put on two srm ammos that works i think pretty well uh that's going to be another day spent We'll take off one of these medium lasers and put in our medium laser plus. And actually, let's put it on the torso because it, then it has a better chance of surviving. Three more days. Um, do we have anything else that we can... Cockpit mod. Did I put the cockpit on, put mod on there? I think I did. I'm going to go ahead and see I did because it would be dumb if I didn't. All right. So I'm going to end the episode here. And in the ne next episode, I'm going to go ahead and do this um, a trap sprung. I should I would like to do this last, last mech standing. I'm tired of fighting in the desert, but this wouldn't be bad for payday. Um, so maybe we'll do this last mech standing and trap sprung and we'll see how that pays out. Um, I would like to do some like mercenary missions and actually work on building a faction, but I'm kind of enjoying just like this for now. And I like to do the missions that are in the area. Um, so I guess we're going hard on the Arana restoration, but I, I don't mean for that to be the case. It's just out of convenience, if anything. Um, but anyway, I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.